Thank you so much. I promise I won't disappoint you again. So when's the flight? Tomorrow, 9am. Tomorrow? I'd better get a move on. Thank you so much. I'll stop back now. Bye. Bye. Who is that? Jasmine. She finally forgave me for that article dilemma. That's a relief. Do you have anything planned? Yes. I need to call Laurie, but there is no way I'll get an answer from her. She'll decline as soon as she sees my name. Try my phone. Are you sure, boss? You know you can call me Leona. And yeah, it's an article, of course. And this seems like no longer an article, more like some TV drama. Reporters have the responsibility of digging up information and sharing it in a way that causes no harm, which is a huge responsibility. And it's very hard, so you're not the first reporter to do so. Anyways, try and call her. Thanks again. Leona. Anytime. Hello? Hi, Laurie. What do you want? Before you hang up on me, hear me out. I am deeply sorry and I've learned from my mistakes. Go on then. I found a way to repay you. Really? Tomorrow, 9am, you'll be flying to Beverly Hills. How did you know I made my decision? Your mother contacted me. Right, I saw that coming. Are you excited? Yes, but a little bit nervous. How long are we staying for and what will my twin think of me and is, isn't this trip really, really expensive? Calm down and we all paid for it. Our friends over in Beverly Hills helped us and the trip is two weeks unless you want to move there and your twin will be there happy to see you. She is having pretty much the same thoughts as you right now. Okay, um, super nervous. I may as well stop packing. Thanks again for calling. Bye! I'm glad things went smoothly. I'm gonna miss you so much. What's going on? I'm going to Beverly Hills for two weeks and meet- And meet Jasmine, I think her name is. Oh dear, that's great! Don't worry about me at all. I will miss you, but this is a great opportunity for you. I was also wondering about something. What is it? Who were my parents? They were the kindest people there were. Nicole, your mother, was a model in her sister's company. And your dad was an actor in the James Bone series. They were both very kind people, and sometimes they remind me a lot of you. It's okay, you have me now. I'm... I'm your, um... Biological... Aunt. Wait, what? I was Nicole's older sister. I changed my last name to my middle name because I didn't want fame or attention. I wanted an ordinary, steady life. So that's how you ended up being... Laurie May. So you're my aunt. My aunt? You're my family! I've been thinking that I've been away from all my family since you told me I was adopted. But you were here the whole time. When the accident happened, I adopted you because I wanted to give you a great life. And when I went to adopt you, Jasmine was gone. So I'm happy that you'll finally get to meet her because that's what I've wanted for you for years. Thank you. For what? For being the best mum I could ever have. Mom, Dad, do you think Loretta will like me? Of course! She's your sister. She will love you. How could she not? You're so caring, sweet, and a great friend. Thanks, guys. I'm just a little nervous. I was about your age when I first went on a plane on my own. You're almost 16 now. No, I'm not nervous about that. I'm nervous for what Beverly Hills is like. My family lives there. There's those rich chihuahuas who own seven yachts and about three beach houses. There is nothing to fear. Everything will go perfectly fine. Thanks for reassuring me, guys. No problem, sweetie. Thank you so much. Next. Take that door there. Have a nice time in Beverly Hills. Jasmine Fall, my pleasure to be your service. I hope you have the finest day. Uh, thank you. 
Oh, oh, right. Oh, scan your ticket. Have a nice day. Thanks. These chairs are so comfy. Is it your first time riding business class? Yes. You must be Angelina. One of those typical Beverly Hills Chihuahua. You have quite the nice city. Uh, yeah, Florida is pretty nice. <laughs> I was just joking. Beverly Hills is the top class treatment. Well, I guess you're not used to that. Hmm. Three, three more, more hours. hours. Hello, we are experiencing a minor delay. We will have half an hour more extra time added to the flight due to the heavy winds coming up from north. Please forgive us. Thank you. You've got to be kidding me. Sorry. Hi, I'm Jasmine. You've grown so much. Um, who are you? Please forgive me. I'm your Aunt Maya. Your dad's sister. And I'm your cousin. I've seen you before modeling on Glamio magazine. You saw it? Wow, Jasmine Fool noticed me. Can I take a picture with you? Sure. I'm still getting used to the whole being Jasmine Fool, daughter of famous pets. And also, where's my sister Loretta? Kira can pick up Loretta and we can meet her at- And we can meet her at your old house. My house? I'll explain on the drive there. Yeah. So yeah, let's go. That flight took forever. But I'm finally out. Hello. Loretta! Is that you? I prefer Lori. My apologies, Lori. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm your aunt. And yes, I'm the youngest. But anyways, you've grown so much since the last time I saw you. You're only seven months old. Oh, and this is Matt. He is one of your cousins. And I have no idea where David went. Hi, I'm your uncle. Uh, nice to meet you all. But where's my twin sister, Jasmine? She is at your aunt's house. Her plane arrived half an hour before yours, but we can still meet up with them. We'll be driving to your old house. I'm so excited to meet her. I'm so glad. Let's go. Ah, they're finally here. Uh, hi, I'm Lori. I'm Jasmine, but you can call me Jazz. I still can't believe I just met you. Yeah, we'll be able to relate so much with being adopted and all. <laughs> Definitely. Do you have those high school mean girls that suddenly just changed just because you're related to some famous person? Oh my gosh, yes. Well, I guess it's because our parents had more of a higher reputation than us. Yeah. Uh, Lori, you forgot your bag. Uh, thank you. So, what now? Do you want to look inside your 14.7 million dollar house? <laughs> holy guacamole! Oh my holy cheese balls. The most expensive thing I own. It was like a hundred dollars off of eBay. <laughs> but how do we own this house? Well... Michael and Nicole had like a million relatives and the closest relative to them was you guys, so yeah. How does it feel? We are millionaires. Yeah, I still can't really process it. So I guess this chapter ends and the story was only just starting. Well, I have a twin, guys. I have a twin. We need to try out our twin telepathy sometime. 